Hi, um, I'm Julia and i um, been in hold about nearly three years now. Um, I just wanted to tell you about um, my moment of being spoken to, reached out um, by God. I've been a Quaker for about 10 years and um, I decided when I came to Holt to do the Alpha course, but before that, I um, I decided to have a quick look around the village, sort of pretty much the day after we moved in and um, went out on my bike, and we hadn't really investigated the village an awful lot. So um, I circled down past the church and I thought, oh, that's a lovely little church, isn't that pretty? Um, but I don't really go to church because I'm, I'm a Quaker, um, but wouldn't that be lovely? if I went to that church. And um, as I sat uh, on my bicycle looking at the church, it said, welcome, I'm so glad you've come. Really look forward to seeing you. I thought, what are that all about? That's a bit strange. So I got my bike and, and drove home and thought, wow, a message from a building? That seems all a bit strange, but anyway. I, I then decided to do the Alpha course and the precursor to that was that I had an incredible auntie, absolutely amazing auntie, who was a um, no stuff and nonsense um, theatre sister who rose right through the ranks and um, a committed Christian. And um, uh, she never really spoke about being a committed Christian, to, um, but um, just as she was beginning to retire, she was diagnosed with um, a hideous um, disease called mesothelioma. And while she became ill and she was so brave and never spoke about how ill she was, my sister and I used to take her to London for a couple of days out uh, while she was still able to get out and about. And uh, we were on Hammersmith flyover of all places. And, and she turned and said to me, Julia, um, you've got to promise me uh, you, you will do the Alpha course, won't you? And I thought, oh, she sort of thinks I need saving or something like that. And I went, oh, we need 30 men, we'll do it. Anyway, uh, I'm pretty slow on the take up, pretty slow learn, slow learn it, but somehow the church speaking to me um, and, and her words had never left me. So it was 20 years later when I saw the church and um, I thought I'd do the Alpha course. Oh, I went in a little bit sort of, oh, I'm not sure about this. I'm not sure about this format. Uh, uh, lots of questions I want to ask. Let's see if I can pick some holes in it. Uh, let's see if I can poo-poo it, not sure. But anyway, I went along with it. I did really enjoy it. I actually, I enjoyed it as much for the negative feelings it brought up because it made me question why I was so full of negative thoughts. And so, we got about halfway through the course and I was going off to Lark Call to the, um, to the Lord Red of all places, listening to Radio 4 on the radio. And as I got to the junction, just out of Holt as you turn right to go towards Bath through Woolly Green, um, I was aware in the car that there was a huge gold pillar glistening coming down through the roof of the car and down through me sparkling and glistening and I thought I'm just about to die or something like that because I've got no idea what this is so I pulled over into that little lay-by and it twinkled and it was so gold and as I sat there I thought I've got no idea what this is and this voice said you are loved you are loved and I thought, me? With all my faults and all the mistakes I've made in my life, I am loved? Really? Anyway, I came home and I didn't really tell anybody about it because I felt that the, the moment had been so profound that I guarded it with my heart. It's been so precious to me. And I can honestly say it was the day that I realised that I had been so honoured to have been spoken to by God. And we all know we're loved. We know, we know uh, most of our family love us. <laughs> Maybe something. Most of our family love us and our friends. But this felt 
a completely different type of love. This felt a love with no ties, a love that had no expectations from me. And it was only when I shared it with um, a precious person to me in Alpha, and she said, you realize that was the Holy Spirit that really I understood what it meant. And I felt so honored. And it really was probably the most defining and one of the most beautiful things in my life. Once again, the dogs have been a bit left field and I do apologize. Um, and it, I don't mean for their behavior to have taken away from anything I've said, but hey, uh, life goes on and I am so blessed.